SBFalcons.com here with Nikhil Lazad after a 67-63 home victory over 12th rank St. Martin's. Nikhil, your thoughts on this one? Oh man, this is why you play college basketball for games like this, man. Uh, I'm just, this is so awesome, man, to be able to go out here with my brothers every day, grind out practice, go through ups and downs throughout the whole season, to play against the 12th ranked team with a couple of games left. Man, it's just, it's, it's truly a blessing, and I couldn't be more proud of my teammates. It's just the way we fought tonight, fought through a bunch of adversity, adversity tonight, and just, it was just so awesome. Sure. First half score, uh, St. Martin's had a 34-33, one point lead at halftime. It would not have been that close without you. You had 17 first half points. What was going right for you, or what were you taking advantage of in the first half? Um, like I said, man, playing against these top-ranked teams in the country, you got to bring it. And, you know, I was talking to the seniors before the game, and, like I told you earlier, man, who knows what I'll be doing after this year. So I just got to take advantage of these last couple games. And my goal was to just come out aggressive, not only for myself, but for my teammates. Um, and I was making some shots. And, you know, my teammates kept feeding me and kept encouraging me to do what I was doing. And it, it just kept rolling from there. Sure did. You ended up with a career high 26. Uh, do you keep tabs in your head? Do you have any idea how many points you scored during a game? Um, I mean, sometimes you look around the scoreboard, see the score, and you kind of see it. but. I mean, I was just out there playing, having fun, having my teammates encourage me to keep doing what I was doing, and it was just, whatever, however many points I scored, as long as we won, that was the only score I was worried about. This would have been a thrilling game for a neutral observer, just a great college basketball yeah. game, two teams fighting hard. What was the difference? Why did your team end up with the win? I just think, I mean, not, I mean, they're a great team, so credit to them. I just think we were really locked in. I mean, they're, they're four, four of their starters are their leading scorers, and we knew we weren't going to stop all of them. We let Boyce, you know, obviously he had like 24, 25, whatever he had. But we had Reddix, I think, only finished with maybe 8 or 10. Chavez only had, I think, like 3 or 5. So limiting, we weren't going to stop everyone, like I said, but limiting some of those players really helped us in the long run to, to uh, be on top at the end. When you go into a game like this, uh, knowing that their guards like to shoot a lot of threes and you're going to be chasing a lot, What's your mindset going into a game like this? I mean, it's tough. It's, it's it's definitely tough because when you have guys that can shoot like that, it creates a lot of sometimes long closeouts where then the guys get in the paint, people got to help, then shooters are even more open. So, I mean, it's tough, but at the same time, you got to be able to – you got to give up something. And, and against them, they really need threes to win games. And so taking that away was something we had to do. I don't even know how many threes they finished off with, but um, – Holding Reddicks and Chavez to not as big nights as they're used, used to, it really helped us out a lot. Seventh straight win for your team. Uh, you don't have much time to uh, revel in this victory. In uh, two days from now, on Thursday at 515, it's a senior night matchup against Montana State Billings. First off, uh, that's going to be your last home game here. You and five other CSBU seniors. What do you think the emotions are going to be like on Thursday? Um, it's definitely probably going to be an emotional night for me. Um, my whole family's gonna be here. I remember when I played at Humboldt and we got to play SPU, that was the last time my grandma got to watch me play before she passed away. And it was in this gym and she was sitting over there. So um, she'll be here in spirit. And um, it, it, it's fun to play here every night knowing that she's over there watching over me. So it's gonna be an emotional night for me. Um, it's gonna be really fun to finish it off with my brothers on my team and my family here as well to watch me finish off my career. Might be a little added incentive on that game along with senior night. This is a team when you went to Billings, uh, to be quite us, frank, yeah. it wasn't it wasn't a very great performance right, for the right. team. Billings uh, took it to you guys. What's uh, what's going to be the key to turn around um, that result? Well, I mean, after that game, you know, it, it stung definitely. Um, but at, collectively as a team, we kind of just flushed it, moved on, um, and we owe them one. And I mean, th they know we're going to be coming for them, and we know they're going to be coming from, for us again as well. So. We just have to bring that first punch. Um, if they bring it, we got to match that intensity, and um, it, it's it's going to be fun. I think we have a lot of energy. Senior night, it's our last game here, um, so I, I think we'll definitely be ready for it. Nikhil, thanks so much. Congratulations Thank on you. a great individual effort and a great team win. Appreciate it.